Hi guys, Sam from DIB Australia. Uh, today we're just talking about the uh, EB1410 WI, but uh, we're specifically looking at connecting to it wirelessly using the Epson EZMP software, and this applies to a, a, a range of Epson's uh, current projectors. Um, so I've got a laptop here just connected to our office wireless network, and it's got the EZMP network projection software on it. And the projector's plugged into our network and all set up, that's all done, so I'm just being a user, so I just come along here and choose to connect to the projector. Hopefully this will work. Uh, okay, right, so you can see up on the screen is my laptop display, and um, if I move the mouse, or if I open a web browser, there is a bit of a lag, you know, wireless isn't really a replacement for cable. Uh, not, not this particular arrangement, but it's uh, not too bad to enable a teacher to move around the room more easily. Um, you know, from here I can control uh, all sorts of features of the screen. Uh, one of the really cool aspects of this though, and, and unique to this product, is that it actually allows for uh, return control. So theoretically, if I take uh, the, uh, the pen that comes with the interactive projector, I should actually be able to control the laptop, even though it's not plugged in. Uh, in hoping. Whew. So as you can see, I'm using the pen to drive the laptop, uh, and uh, that's working fine. So you know you can have this device floating anywhere around the room and wirelessly connect and control it. Uh, obviously only on the interactive models, but yeah. Oh, actually, one more thing. Sorry, we're going to show you the uh, the iPad uh, application. You can also connect to these projectors uh, with an iPad. So. See how we go here. Uh, you've got to download the application called iProjection. So we'll just done. We go to projector in the corner and it starts to search for the projector. Hopefully it comes up. There it is. Our showroom one. Yep, we want to connect to it. Now you can see the screen is changing because I've connected to the projector. Uh, now, this app uh, provides limited functionality, but we can put pictures and files and stuff up there so I can go into my photos on the iPad and say, okay, well, what have I got here to put up? Uh, and that's just an image coming off my iPad here. I can scroll through these. Uh, it's got some basic annotation type features right here on the iPad, so, you know, I can annotate away onto the screen as well. So look, you know, it, it's a limited app, but uh, it just shows some of the wireless functions that all come packaged within these products.